also choose some winners and we want you, the audience, to vote for the best reverse pitch. Uh, there are two ways to, uh, to vote for your favorite. Uh, you can go to the address messagewall.io slash sote slash and choose poll. You find the, the address over there in the left corner of that screen. Uh, the address is messagewall.io slash sote slash and choose poll. And you can also vote by sending a text message to the number 12154. And in the message, write sote slash and then leave a space and write the letter of your favorite. I will tell the letter after for each picture after each pitch. So the number is 12154 and in the message write sort of slash and then leave a space and write the letter of your favorite. We will also have three startup judge. She's pick their favorite at the end. But now let's start the pitch. First up is development manager Antti Tuomi Nikula from THL. Please welcome Antti Tuomi Nikula. He will stand over there at their stand. Antti Tuomi Nikula, your time will start now. Who has the most open health and welfare data in Finland. It's the National Institute for Health and Welfare, THL. Next one, please. <laughs> That's right. We have data ranging from population health indicators to healthcare performance data. And all this comes through one website. Next, please. And besides data, we offer our expertise support for startups and data analytic services. In case you didn't find something from the website that you were looking for, just make a wish. And in the future, you can also come to our offices to work with us in our innovation lab. But already now, you are welcome for a cup of coffee and for a good chat anytime. <laughs> and why are we doing all this? And why are we opening all this data? We want our data to become alive. It's too precious to be left rotting in the vaults. <laughs> Next one, please. Keep an eye on our challenges in the hackathons to come. And if you are arranging a hackathon of your own, contact us. Maybe we can come up with a joint challenge. And the last one, please. So welcome startups and everyone interested to utilize our data. We are here for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great job. This was uh, development manager Antti Tuominikola from THL. If you want to vote for him, uh, Antti's letter is A. And the number is 12154. Give an applause to Antti. Next, we have senior researcher Heidi Antila, also from THL. Your time will start. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Good. Your time will start now. Hello, my name is Heidi. I know that you innovate, but we research and make data structures. Um, listen, now you are going to hear something very new. Uh, which is the THL's information structures for functioning data on a pers for person. A lot of data nowadays are being collected about person's body functions or their daily activities in society. But the problem is that the data is still not compatible across the systems. The THL has a solution. It is our new and revolutionary information model for data about a person's functioning. It will enable you to use the data once it's, uh, it's saved across all systems. This 
will mean that all Finnish social and healthcare organizations will need to update their information systems to really make effective use of that data. They will need new startups to um, create user-oriented solutions for them. Right now we make the technical specifications for Kanta services and also the personal health record we use the same information model. These specs will be ready next spring. So you can use the same interoperable structures with basically everything. Uh, want to know more? Come to talk with Minna Lisa and me. Uh, we wish that you and all organizations can collaborate with us. Thank you. Thank you, Heidi. Give a round of applause to Heidi. And if you want to vote for Heidi, her letter is B. And please, I know that you want to talk to each other, and that's very good. But now we have to listen to the pictures. Uh, the next one uh, is uh, Senior Officer Nelly Karhu from the National Supervisory Authority for Welfare and Health from Valvira. Nelly, please, are you ready? Yes, I am. Great, your time will start now. Hi, I'm from Valvira, the Finnish Authority for Medical Devices. Uh, shortly, you innovate, we regulate. So what's it got to do with you? First, you're going to tell me your product is not a medical device. No, no. Well, I'll tell you, the definition legally of a medical device is pretty broad. So if it's anything to do with health tech, it might be a medical device, including software and mobile apps. And that means there's a load of regulatory stuff out there you need to know about. Secondly, you'll be saying, well, what a killjoy. We're still in R&D. What's the hurry? No hurry. Well, you are already thinking about customers and marketing, right? It's just the same. Regulatory strategy is part of your business strategy. The sooner you start thinking about it, the smoother and faster your path to the market. We at Valvira, we won't be your private consultants, but we can help and guide you with the basics. So come and talk to us today, or check out our website, and uh, send us an email or call later. Good luck to all with your product. Uh, take care that your products are safe and functional. Thank you. Thank you, hey, Nelly. <laughs> Wonderful job. And please, uh, I was just informed that there, there are no letters you can vote for, but numbers. So, Antti Tuomi Nikola is number one. Heidi Antila uh, is number two. Nelly Karhu was number three, or is number three. And now we will continue. And please be quiet and listen to the pictures. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? The judge is speaking. Please, can you be quiet and listen to the pictures? <laughs> so the next picture uh, is... Uh, Kari Kataja, the program manager Kari Kataja from Tekes, the Finnish funding agency for innovation. Uh, Kari Kataja, are you ready over there? Our yes, we are ready here. Yeah, great. Your time will start now. Hello, Baba. Hello, everybody. This is Merja Hiltunen. Oh. <laughs> and I'm Kari Kataja, and we come from Tekes. So you are too. Can we have next slide, please? So Tekes is Finnish fund funding agency for innovation. And dear, tax, dear fellow taxpayers, did you know that we spend 500 million euro annually to support new innovation and growth of our companies? Tekes Innovation Funding has proven impact as it grows your company's turnover and the number of employees. Next slide. In addition to funding, we provide a lot of other work and, and offer offering to companies. So we provide consultancy, we build networks in Finland, in abroad, we support our export, we support growth and, and formation of innovation ecosystem, and all this in the interest of a society. So remember that 500 million euro, we want it back, and manifold 
in different forms of taxes. Takes of uh, grants and loans. No Arctic pitching is, however, uh, needed. So you may start with a small grant and continue with an R&D loan. And finally, you may enter a uh, young innovative companies uh, entrepreneurship program. In addition to pure cash, we provide other, other means and help for our companies. So next year, 2018, Bits of Health program will open three major projects. So look out, look out for Clinical Entrepreneur Finland, National Testbed Network and Hospital Co-Development projects. All of these projects are, are to even more, even for strengthen the public-private partnership between companies and public healthcare providers. This was Kari and Maria from Tekes. Thank you and please come to us today. Bye-bye. Vote number four. Thank you. Kari, Kataja and Maria Hildunen from Tekes. You can vote for them with number four. And um, remember, there are two waves, ways to vote for your favorite. Go to the address messagewall.io slash soteslas and choose poll. And you can also vote by sending a text message to the number 12154. And in the message, write soteslas, then leave a space and write the letter of, no, the, the number of your favorite. But now we will continue. The photographer has moved to the next one. Next we have senior chief physician Johanna Arola from Finn Bio Bank. Johanna Arola, are you ready? Yes, Baba. Here. I can't hear you. You have to put the microphone very, yes. very near Is your mouth. Is it working? Mouth. Is it working? Yeah. No, I can't hear you. You can't hear me. Can you hear me? <laughs> Please, can you be quiet? I can't hear Johanna Arola from, <laughs> from uh, Finn Biobank. So, Johanna, you can start now. Thanks, Baba. And hello, everybody. I'm pre representing Finnish Biobanks. We have currently 10 Biobanks in Finland and soon you can reach them through one-stop shop, namely Finn Biobank. What is Biobank for? You give us a Biobank consent and you donate your sample, and through your personal PIN code, we are able to combine the data from the sample and from the electronic health records and do medical and health research and product development as well. And this is all done according to Finnish Biobank law. When you give a consent, you can always contact the Biobank. You are always allowed to know the use of your sample and data. And you are helping us to build better treatments, maybe even for you or for your children. But you great startup people, I'm not just standing here to get your Biobank donation which would be great, of course. But I'm hoping you to help to build this great system. I'm hoping that you could help us to mine the data from hospital records. Maybe help us to, uh, help us to get data from the donors. Or maybe help us to be approachable to all these great donors and our clients. It may be buy a bank app or something. So please come and talk to us today. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Thank you, Johanna. This was Johanna Arola from Finn Bio Bank, and you can vote for Johanna by choosing number five. Next, please welcome Ilkka Tiainen from Abotti. Ilkka Tiainen, are you ready? Yes, I am. Great. Ready. Your time will start now. Hi. Great day, everybody. Uh, Apotti is here by our roll-up, and our <laughs> color <laughs> is orange. So what is Apotti then? Uh, it is an ext uh, 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 extensive change project 
of social services and healthcare field. And we are ICT for, for professionals and citizens on the Helsinki capital area. This is a 500 million euro project for 1.6 million people. So what is unique in what we do? Uh, number one, Apotti has a comprehensive view to healthcare because uh, social determinants of health are included. And number two, uh, world leading uh, EPIC systems technology is used. Uh, why are these things important to you? Uh, EPIC integration gives you startups an access to US market once reference implementation of your service to Apotti is done. And uh, understanding the relevance of social determinants of health gives digital health startups a competitive advantage globally. I am Ilkka Tiainen, Apotti ecosystem specialist. Come to our stand to talk with Apotti ecosystem for help in growing your company and for help in entering the global digital health market, especially the US market. We are Rapotti, the first in the world to create an information system that truly integrates social services and healthcare services. Thank you, Ilka. Let's give a round of applause to Ilka. And if you want to vote for him, his number is six. Next, we have some great NGOs. First, we have Markus Raivio from Kukunori RY. Uh, Markus Raivio, are you ready? I'm ready. Great. Your time will start now. Hello, everyone. Are you having a good time? Yeah. Great. My name is Markus Raivio. I'm a CEO of Kukunori Association. Kukunori acts as an umbrella organization for 15 national mental health NGOs representing thousands of people recovering from mental health issues. So startups, we need your help. Our mission is to create new platform for people who are interested in creative collaboration, for example, digital solutions, early stage prototypes, apps, whatever we can think of. So we are very proud to welcome you to join us for this mission. If you have ideas to help our NGOs, and people suffering from mental health issues or disabilities, please let us know. The aim is to think big and make small changes ideal through experiments. So let's start to create through new ideas and successes on our mission in mental health care. Thank you so much. Great, that was Markus from Kukunori. Uh, then let's hear from Sanna Kajanen from Valli RY. Sanna, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Great, I'm here. your time will start now. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Sanna Kajanen and I'm from Valleta Union for Senior Services. And we have a message for startups. And we are asking you to join our mission to make technology age-friendly, user-based and accessible. In Finland, we have more than 500,000 over 55 years old who don't use internet or digital services at all. Most of them have challenges using mobile devices, computers, or assistive technology. There's a need for user-based product development, easy-to-use devices, digital services reliability, and assistive technology, which use is not depend on users' ability. We encourage you to pay attention to old people's needs and opinions they do really matter. We would like to invite you to join our networks with NGOs to design technology for all. Thank you. Thank you, Sanna. Great job. Uh, it was Sanna Kajanen from Valli RY. And next we have two speakers from the, the, the Re Rehabilitation Foundation. Uh, please welcome Johanna Nukari and Kati Peltonen. Are you ready? Yes. Great, your time will start now. Hi, I'm going to talk about learning disabilities. Please, Problems can, please can you put your, the microphone nearer your mouth? Can you hear me now? Is it okay? 
problems with learning can be devastating for a person. Yet there are not enough professionals to give face-to-face -face support for everyone who needs it, all the young people and adults struggling with the dyslexia and other learning disabilities. This is why we need a web-based program. Our program offers comprehensive support based on scientific research. It helps to identify the problems. It offers uh, exercises tailored to personal needs, support given by learning disability professionals online, and the opportunity to communicate with others struggling with the same problems. We have the research and the knowledge. We want you to build this program with us, and well, funding wouldn't be bad either. Thanks. And then Kati. Thank you. I'm going to talk about a board game. Spiral board game is developed to increase clients' activity in rehabilitation goal setting. During the game, each participant reads a question card aloud and then decides if the area is hard to them or not. And the rehabilitation goals are set based on the answers. And the board game has been a success. And now we are looking for a partner who could finance or create a uh, Spiral mobile app. Uh, if you are interested in gaming or in rehabilitation, please come to talk to us. Great, thank you, Kati. So this, so this was Johanna Nukari and Kati Peltonen from Rehabilitation Foundation. Our next speaker comes from the Finnish Association for Mental Health. She is Marit Lasander. Are you ready, Marit? Yes, I'm ready. Thank Great. you. Great. Let's start. I want to hear your voices first, because I'm talking about mental health at workplace, which is important for all of us. So how many of you is interested in uh, emotional well-being apps? Just shout. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. And how many of you would innovate mindful spaces? Mindful spaces, yeah? Okay. And how many of you would be interested in virtual reality, reality experiences in nature? Yeah? Yeah, because Finland, we have nature, so let's use that experience as well. So, uh, Finnish Association Mental Health, we are experts in mind and well-being. And uh, you know that the working life can be draining our crea creativity. It can be very fast-paced, task-oriented, it can be difficult. So we want to offer you mindful working flows. We want to offer you more better decision-making, and we want to offer you calm stress management skills. This is everything that we have been working for for the past year. And also mental health first aid. Please remember that. We have uh, 7,000 people trained over the past year. So uh, working place modules are also coming. And this is something that uh, you could be interested in. Please come talk to us. Thank you. Thank you, Marit. <laughs> and this was Marit Lasander from Finnish Association for Mental Health. Next, we have Maria Pakarinen from EHUT, the Finnish Association for Substance Abuse Prevention. Maria Pakarinen, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Sounds great. Your time will begin now. Okay, thank you. Uh, hello, everybody. Very nice to see you all here. Children, you know they spend a lot of time without adults after school days. Many of them need someone to talk with. For this need, we have created a service where voluntary grandmothers give their time to children and chat with them online. But this chat application is not enough to reach everybody. Therefore, we need an application that uses also voice and video, or maybe video. In this, we need your help. We cannot fund the development process, but we offer a meaningful pilot to work with. And of course, you would own the application created. So let's create together a place for children and grandmothers to can connect online. Thank you. Thank you. This was Maria Pakarinen from the Finnish Association for Substance Abuse Prevention. So if you think that the NGO pitches were the best ones, 
Then vote for number seven. The NGO speech is number seven. Then we have a couple of big corporations. First, please welcome Director of Health, Hanna Nikkila from Microsoft. And Hanna will, will be over here. We are waiting for the microphone. So Hanna, are you ready? Yeah. Hello. Hanna, your time will start now. Yes. Hello, everybody. My name is Hanna Nikkila. I'm coming from Microsoft, actually from the Western Europe organization covering 12 countries in Europe. My job in Microsoft is to tell to healthcare organizations what they can, what they can achieve by utilizing modern innovative technology. And my promise to you is to help you to get to the global market. So the challenges in healthcare are global and the technology is global. Finland is an excellent test bed to get the first references. But when you want to gain money, it is in the world and we help you there. So there's a lot of things that you need to have as a startup when you have a business. You have to have the idea data that is available in Finland, technology, uh, expertise, quality systems, CE, marking, FDAs, and so on, but also sales and marketing. What we can provide? So first, the technology platform. The platform that you're building on has to be global. It has to be the one that the customers really are using. It can't be anything exotic. It has to be safe. If it had to be such that it, you can pr safely bring your own data there. <laughs> <What's it that? laughs> you also need technical support. We can provide you all of our stuff is helping you in any country. We are present in all the countries. Time is over. <laughs> Thank you, Hanna Nikkila. And if you want to vote for her, her number is eight. And last but not least, we have Matti Vanska, who is head of medical and health initiatives at Nokia Technologies. Please welcome Matti Vanska. Hi, Baban. Hi, are you, everybody. So um, you are ready. I'm ready. Your time will start now. And this is a groundbreaking thing, because now you can see a Nokia person presenting without slides. Whoa. So uh, <laughs> I, have, I have three messages a bit like Alexander Stoop. First, Nokia is in digital health. We bought a company called the Withings. We have cool devices, lots of uh, industry firsts here. My colleague Yoni will be presenting them to you later today. My second message is that these devices and the data by these devices are very relevant for the topic of today because they provide uh, citizens' ability to load all this valuable information to their personal health record. It also helps the healthcare professionals to take better care of the patients remotely. My third point, it makes sense to collaborate with Nokia because you can do the same as what WebMD have done, my fitness pal have done, Weight Watchers have done, i.e. linking your application to the data produced by millions of people who are using de these devices. Secondly, if you're interested in cool network uh, technologies and trying out your application there, welcome to our campus. Lastly, we have Nokia Growth Partners who are looking at cool companies to invest in. Thank you very much. Thank you, Matti Vanska, Nokia Technologies. So if you want to vote for Matti Vanska, Nokia Technologies, his number is nine. And now I would like to thank you all of our brave, uh, thank all of our brave pitchers you have done a great, great job. Congratulations. Let's give a round of applause to all our pitchers.